All right, I'd like to show you a couple different ways to share projects in Replit. Um, one way to share a project is by sharing a forkable project, which means it's um, able to be copied right away. Um, to get the link to do that, you can either directly grab the URL by copying and pasting it from your um, browser's address bar, or you can click the share icon in Replit and you can grab the copy REPL link from here. That grabs the, the same link that you would then be able to copy and paste and pull up somebody's project to share code. Now if you share this with someone else and they start making changes to the code, um, whatever that change might be, right, they will then fork their own copy of the project. Currently I'm in my own Replit um, profile, so if I want to fork, I'd have to force that to happen. You can click fork on a project that will immediately take your Replit project, make a copy of it, and it will change and add the, uh, the file name to something else. And so that's one way you can share is by sharing the URL. Right now, if you want to collaborate with someone else and share a project like you might do for pair programming, then you want to share a different way. Then you want to share by adding that person as a multiplayer. So again, you would click the share icon, right? And you would invite them as a multiplayer to your project using this um, text box here. And you can invite them by username or uh, Replit username or email. So if I wanted to invite Mr. Schmidt to collaborate in this project as a multiplayer, I can put his Replit username in and invite him to the project, right? He's been added to this project now, right? And now I'm able to chat with him in this little chat box, as well as we will treat this then as a multiplayer replit, which means he and I can both edit and run this code. 